friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Advanced Test Automation Engineer. We are in Chapter 3 and we are continuing further with 3.22A Design, that is 3.2.3 so Technical Considerations of SUT. Now in this particular section we will understand beyond that what exactly the technical considerations for the SUT will be into the discussions of uh, TAA Design. So the very first thing what you begin with is the interfaces of the SUT, where of course there are several, uh, several interfaces which is generally considered from the previous tutorials. Also we have understood that SUT may use internal interfaces which is like interaction between the two components or two subsystems of an application and that could be internal in terms of like inside the system some APIs and all and external like external environments which would be required and additionally some payment gateways or external APIs and web services which would be required to address the same. A TA needs to be able to control and observe all those interfaces of SUT which are potentially affected by the test procedures. Test focus is needed to at the beginning of the project during the architecture definition to verify the availability of the necessary test interfaces or test facilitates required for the SUT to be testable. So it's generally to make sure that a test focus is available. That means a general test is available to make sure that everything is available, what interface would actually require to support the SUT. On the other hand, SUT data, uh, SUT uses configuration data to control its instantiation, uh, that's instantiation, configuration, administration, etc. Furthermore, it uses a user data which it processes. So generally we are talking about a lot of additional components or setup which should be required by the SUT to support in terms of execution as well as processing the information. SUT may also use external data from the other systems which is like export of additional information from different applications as an import information to this SUT. The specific way of copying the SUT data is decided in TA design. Depending on the approach, data may be handled as parameters, test data sheets, test data tables, or real data, et cetera. So it, it generally depends on what kind of design are you creating, and based on those creations, the approach will be determined, and certain approaches requires a different set of data to be entered as a part of it. When you continue further, we have SUT configurations equally important to be considered under the technical considerations. An SUT may be deployed in different configuration, for example, on different operating systems, on different target devices, or with different language settings. Additionally, you can talk about different browsers, different compatibilities, so there are several things which we can include as a part of the configurations. Depending on the test procedure, different SUT configurations may have to be addressed by the TAA, Test Automation Architecture. The test procedures may require different test setups in lab or virtual setups for fulfilling the same. It may also require addition, adding simulators or emulators as a part of the configuration which would be required to simulate the activities within the environment. In continuation, SUT standards and legal settings includes further information about the standards and the legals which are important in terms of setting up the environment as well as executing the application. In addition to the technical aspects of an SUT, the TAA design may need to respect legal or standards requirements so as to design the TAA in compatible manner. Examples include privacy requirements for the test data or confidentiality requirements that impact the logging and reporting capabilities of the TAA. Further, when you talk about the tools and the tool environment used to develop the SUT, which will be additional information to be understood in terms of technical consideration. Along with the development of an SUT, different tools may be used for requirements engineering, design, and modeling, whereas coding, integration, and deployment will be also included as a part of it. The TAA together with its own tools should take the SUT landscape into account in order to enable tool compatibility, traceability, and or reuse of artifacts. So it's generally important that a tool uh, generates a lots of test assets and requires a lot of additional information to be supported for execution of the automation test scripts. Of course, the tool must require certain information as input, and there are a lot of test assets which will be exported as output. So managing, managing that, maintaining it, it becomes really important, and that we need to take care of it. 
Further, into test interfaces in the software product, it is strongly recommended not to remove all the test interfaces prior to product release. In most cases, these interfaces can be left in the SUT without causing issues with the final product. When left in place, the interfaces can be used by the service and support engineers for problem diagnosis as well as for necessary maintenance release. It is important to verify that the interfaces will pose no security risk. If necessary, developers usually can disable these test interfaces such that they cannot be used outside the development environment. So generally when you talk about the test interfaces in the software product, these are additional setups or environments which are created to be a part of testing environment and making sure that these test interfaces are also executable and it works fine with the environments and other configurations which is set up as a part of the automation. And obviously there is an interaction between the test and the solution, of course, that would be another important part of it. So that's all from this particular topic here, team. Uh, should you have anything else beyond that, feel free to comment below. I'll be there to address your queries. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.